Hello friends, welcome to Karma Tech. So friends, if you have a Mac device which supports Apple intelligence but you don't know how to activate it, then this video is for you. In this video, I'm going to tell you about ways by which you can simply activate AI or Apple intelligence in your Mac. I'm going to guide you step by step. But before going ahead, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. Let's start the video. Now the very first thing you have to do is just simply go to system settings which you can find in dock. Once you go to system settings, go to general option and go to software update and make sure that your Mac is updated to Mac OS Sequoia 15.4, which is the latest update. Now, in my case, because I'm on a beta profile, uh, you can see it is showing that my Mac is updated to Sequoia beta 15.5. But in your case, if you don't have a profile or a beta profile, make sure that your Mac is updated to 15.4. Now, after this update, all you have to do is just go back and again on the general page, go down, look for language and region. And in that, if you are in uh, United States, make sure that your preferred language is set to English US. Uh, that should be your primary language. And also make sure that the region is uh, selected to United States if your primary language is English US. Now, uh, apart from this, Apple has recently added eight new languages and those are French, German, Italian, Japanese, Korean, Portuguese, Spanish and Chinese. So yeah, these languages also support Apple intelligence now. So if you are from any other region, uh, you can select those languages. And apart from that, again, uh, they have also added English variants like English Singapore and English India. Suppose that if you want to add English India as your primary language, you can select English India or Singapore over here. And after that, make sure to change the region. So if you have selected English India, then go to uh, region, then Asia and then select India option over here. So yeah, make sure that the primary language and the region is same. Now, after this, all you have to do is once you update to 15.4 uh, or if your Mac is updated, uh, let's say about 15.2, you will be able to see the option of Apple intelligence and Siri over here, even if you have not activated it. So then just go to Apple intelligence and Siri, make sure this toggle is on. But before that, uh, if you go down, look for languages. Now, if your main language is selected to English US, make sure to select the same language over here. If you have selected any other language like Chinese, French or German, make sure to select that particular language over here. So if you have selected English India, make sure to select English India. So these are the basic settings you need to do in order to activate Apple intelligence. But uh, once you turn on this, uh, you know, toggle for Apple intelligence, it won't activate directly. All you have to do is make sure that your Mac is connected to a Wi-Fi network. And apart from that, uh, make sure to connect the charger to your Mac. So once your Mac is connected to Wi-Fi and charger, after that, it will start downloading support files which are needed for Apple intelligence. And once it is done, you can start using Apple intelligence. So these are the basic things you need to keep in mind to completely activate Apple intelligence. Now, what all features you get after, uh, you know, uh, once the Apple intelligence is activated, first of all, you get image playground option. So you will find this application in your mac once you activate apple intelligence and you can just open it this is the initial page where you can see you can use your imagination you can customize your image with suggested themes costume accessories so these are some basic information you can check it out once you select continue option this is how the interface looks like now let's say if you want to create an image of a dog with cape just press enter now you have given an input and on ba uh, based on that it will try to create an image and not only one image it will try to create multiple images now not only that once you create an image you can also uh, change the si uh, styles like insta if you go to style option over here you get animation illustration and sketch option as well now i have already made a dedicated video on apple intelligence so you can uh, go in description and check out the link for that so yeah you can also use some themes over here you have top hat baseball cap and hard hat if you want to add multiple things you can just uh, simply tap on show more and you can check out themes as well so it can be adventure birthday disco fantasy fireworks there are multiple themes just go and check out my video for apple intelligence now apart from that you do get a new siri option as well now you can see the siri logo has changed if you have activated apple intelligence but to uh, add siri to menu bar all you have to do is uh, for that just simply go to system settings once again and go down and look for control center option now once you get control center again go down and 
you will get an option of menu bar only in that you get an option of Siri. So make sure it is set to show in menu bar because only after that you will be able to check out the new Siri logo over here on the menu bar and you can start using it. Now this is a new Siri. It is not that smart, but yeah, it's definitely a change if you compare to older Siri. Now there is again a chat GPT integration option if you want to use that with Siri. And for that, again, uh, you can just simply go to Apple intelligence page, go to Apple intelligence and Siri and go down and look for chat GPT option over here. So select chat GPT. You can set it up if you want to. And there is a setup prompt over here that you can just simply, it says that allow Siri to suggest chat GPT when you make a request that requires it. So if you ask anything to Siri and if that is not possible for Siri to find an answer for, it will ask permission from you that can I access chat GPT or uh, anything else like that. So yeah, if you want to use ChatGPT with Siri, you have that option as well after activating Apple Intelligence. Now there is Genmoji option. If you want to create emoji based on input, you have that option. Uh, you also get writing tools. So yeah, again, multiple things over there. Just go and check out my uh, video related to Apple Intelligence. I have explained each and everything over there. So that's pretty much it for today's video, guys. These are the ways by which you can simply activate Apple Intelligence and you can start using its features. Uh, I hope this video was helpful. If it was, then don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I will see you all in the next one. Thank you.